We've just lost our star striker Gabriel Jesus to Manchester United and we've also beaten PSG in the Champions League round of 16 and you guys won't believe who we've got next. It's actually Thomas Partey who wants to have a word with us. He says he's not playing enough and wants out so most likely he'll be gone next season. So get your signing suggestions in the comments as this will be the last episode of season 1. We have had such an easy run in the FA Cup so far and it continues with our next game against Cardiff City which we do end up winning 3-0 with a Trossard brace and it's time to play Newcastle United now and we do just about win it courtesy of Wayhee. We we'll have a real test now as we play top of the league Manchester City. Good ball over into the box. Vardiel scores a, a, a weird header to say the least. I don't know how we haven't picked up on this. It's a really poor header and somehow it gets past the both of them. Jadon Sancho on the wing. Still going with it, takes it inside. I have a shot from there, Jaden Sancho, and that was so close. Still got a lot to do though, Boldanzi in the middle now for Sancho. Play that through for Trossard, great ball. Now it's Leandro Trossard, with well, not a lot of space, but he makes use of it. Leandro Trossard with a great little goal there, with no space whatsoever really. Yeah, just look at this, he creates a great opportunity, the fake shot, and then it's a great finish into the top corner. Pick that one out. Saka is taken out, but he retains the ball. Brilliant by him. Leandro Trossard got the skills as well, but gives it away. Now it's Alvarez with Rice tackling, but he's got it back now. Alvarez through ball, timber intercepts. What is that? Why did Ramsdale come out? Aaron Ramsdale has just cost us a goal. There was no need for him to come out there. And they capitalise on the opportunity. I reckon we go with an outside of the boot shot. A lot of power on it. Hopefully it doesn't go over the bar. It's a good shot and it's... Oh my. My Lord Edison, what a save. Bernardo Silva on the attack. It's with Haaland now. Plays it through for Rodri who gets the shot off. But it's a foul and that will be a penalty. And Yuri and Timber is off the pitch. Erling Haaland steps up and scores. That'll be the game to bed now. Who now has a lot of space here. Plays it wide for Grealish. Still Grealish with the ball in the middle for Foden and it's 4-1. That's this game well and truly finished. Haaland may have another goal here. He's through on goal and he does. It's five for Manchester City. Even after that loss, this team has achieved so much already. We are third in the Premier League and have won the Carabao Cup. And not only that, we have a Champions League and FA Cup semi-finals coming up. But before we can focus on either of those two, We've got to focus on the league here with Luton, which we do get a 2-0 win from. As you can see, I'm heavily rotating for this game against Brighton. And that's because our next game is in the Champions League. But this game actually ends up with a 2-1 loss. But none of that matters, of course, if we can beat Atletico Madrid here in the semi-finals. Rodrigo de Powell plays it in the middle. Antoine Griezmann on the attack now, takes it past the defence, and that is a brilliant goal. A mere two minutes into the game and we've already conceded. Not really how we wanted to start this. Oh, referee, get him off the pitch. Surely not. You can't call enough. Oh, that is rubbish. Plays it in the middle for Sancho. Still on the ball. Get it out wide. It's now with White, who plays it over the top for Saka. Good play here. Into the middle. Over to Erdegaard. Erdegaard hit one from there. Martin Erdegaard, that is an astounding goal. Martin Erdegaard gets the equaliser here as he takes it past one of his men and then smashes it into the bottom corner. Axel Witzel plays it to Antoine Griezmann who hits another from range and that is just astounding. An instant reply from Atletico Madrid. Keeps the ball, takes it past us, still with it, plays it back for Borja Iglesias. Now in the box, now Griezmann and that's his hat trick. 33 minutes into the game and we're 3-1 down. Great tackle by Sancho and now we're through here. Jadon Sancho, fake shot here. Takes it into the middle. Jaden Sancho just about gets it off, but it's a save by Obla. Glacius will retain the ball. We keep it now. Saka into the middle. Now it's Musiala. Musiala with some magic here. And it's just wide of the post. Great play there by Musiala. A lot of space here. Now to Wehi. Gives it to Sancho. Sancho on the ball. Play it out wide for Saka. That's a great ball across the pitch. Saka now into the middle for Musiala. And that's a great goal. We've got a goal back now and that's exactly what we needed. Just before half time, Saka picks out an incredible pass. And Musiala couldn't pass up the opportunity. Now Rice. Play it over the top for Sancho. That's a good ball. Jaden Sancho into the box now for Wehi. Needs some options is what he needs. Now Sancho still driving into the, the middle. Now it's Wehi. 
who plays it back inside for Saka and we have equalised. We have come from two goals down to equalise. It's free all now and we are back in this game. But now Sancho actually wants to talk to us. He's saying that even though Martinelli's now back from injury, he still feels like he's better than him. And to be fair, this gives us a good problem to have. We've got two absolutely world-class wingers. One of them not as good as the other, but still performing well. So we've decided to go with Sancho for this game against Aston Villa. And we come away with a 2-1 win, Musiala getting a brace. The scores were even in the first leg and now it's time to take on Atletico Madrid at home. Over the wall, Griezmann plays it into the middle. Iglesias and caught by Ramsdale. Rodrigo de Powell plays it in for Griezmann. Iglesias, Ramsdale, what a save. Axel Witzel plays through Griezmann and Ramsdale with a crucial save. And I think this game is going to go to penalties. In fact, it does. It ends nil-nil and it's time for penalties. Mikayo Saka, all the pressure's on him gonna go to the left and Oblak comes up with the save. It's Borja Iglesias, 92 penalties puts it in the top corner. Trossard, I'm gonna go left with him as well. Leandro Trossard scores his. Griezmann, he's got to have good penalties. He goes to the right and sends us the wrong way. Declan Rice, now to take his penalty, puts it to the right and scores. Vittel to take a penalty, scores. Erdegaard, which is gonna whack this one down the middle of the goal. And he scores it. We need to come up with a save here. It's Lamar to take a penalty. And he scores it just about. And if we miss this, we are out of the game. Martinelli to take his penalty. Scores it brilliantly. It's not over yet, though. We need to save this penalty. And he scores it. We have lost to Atletico Madrid in the semi-finals of the Champions League. That is just heartbreaking. But on the brighter side of things, it allows us to put full focus on the league. Which is probably a good thing, considering we're only in fifth place and we've only got six games left. But now we shift focus to the FA Cup. We're going to sim it and hope that we get a win here. And we do. Sancho and Weihi scoring the goals. But now shifting off focus back to the league we've got Chelsea but we have been gifted a penalty we do what he did in the cup final last episode and dink the keeper it is brilliant he does love those dinks truss up Nani Madueke still running with the ball plays it into the middle for Caicedo plays it out wide for Enzo Fernandez into the middle now Fernandez still running with it has a shot and that's a great goal and that's full time we only manage a draw against Chelsea but now a big clash here against fourth place Tottenham this game could very well decide who gets top four. Fabio Verreira now on the in the middle plays it wide for Martinelli. A lot of space here. Still Martinelli takes it past Pedro Porro. Now found some space in the box. Gabriel Martinelli makes it 1-0. That was a great bit of dribbling. Now Kulusevski has a lot of space here on the Oh, that is that's just so unlucky. I can't even speak. Martinelli takes it past the winger again. Now Martinelli into the box. Have a strike, Martinelli Vicario with an incredible save. But now it is our turn for a solo run as Reese Nelson has the ball here. Still going with the ball. Reese Nelson have a shot and that's a great goal. I rarely ever use this guy, but he scored here against our rivals. And hopefully to seal the deal here, Martin Erdegaard has a free kick. Gonna put a lot of power on it. It's up and over and it's in the back of the net. Martin Erdegaard has executed that free kick perfectly. Which means that crucially we go into the top four. And so close to the end of the season, it has been the soccer show so far. 23 goals and 11 assists is just mad. Although Musiala isn't doing much worse. 22 goals and an assist is also just impeccable. So let's hope they can come up with some goals again here against Bournemouth and there's definitely goals but it wasn't either of those two and finally we've got a transfer offer for our problem player Kai Havertz it's Man City who come in with 54 million that'll definitely do us some good next season Havertz will be leaving next season for Man City and now it's time for Sancho to take on his old stomping ground as we aim to beat Man United here we're gonna cross it into the box here that's a great cross it doesn't meet anyone though we'll get the ball back now it's Erdegaard in the middle have a shot from there, and that is a terrible effort. Great play, Musiala. Loses the ball. Now Mason Mount, who plays it for Gabriel Jesus against his old club, doesn't convert. Rashford, now out wide for Anthony, who's got some good space here. Now it's Rashford, who plays it through for Gabriel Jesus, and he has scored against his old club. That really hurts. Emerson Royale now on the wing. Takes it into the middle for Gabriel Jesus, who plays it for Rashford, and now it's 2-0. That could be detrimental for our top four chance. Just ticky-tack of football, but Saka takes it off him and uses his pace to get past him. A lot of room here. 
He should be getting a goal here. And he does. Get that ball. We need to go again. Great hold up here by Erdegaard. And that is a bad challenge. And it is a yellow card for Luke Shaw here. Shaw gives it back to Mason Mount. Who's got a lot of space on the wing here. Now Jesus in the middle. Still a lot of space. Marcus Rashford. And that's a great block. But it's still with Amrabat. And he has scored from it. They have got their two lead back now. Get that up. Jaden Sancho on the ball. A lot of space. Play it into the middle for way he gets it back to him. That's some good play. Space here out on the wing. Get that past Harry Maguire. He does brilliantly. And now he's got the keeper to beat. And he scores against his old club. And that is an incredible goal by Jadon Sancho. Just takes it past the whole defence. And then a great finesse shot into the corner. And we are only one goal away now. Now he plays that for Emerson Royale. Who gets it forward even further. Now it's Marcus Rashford looking to capitalise. It's still with them now. I can barely see. And it's in the middle and it's a goal. Gabriel Jesus now has a brace against his old club. Which now means going into the last game of the season, we are only just in four. Although we have the goal difference over Man United, we're pretty much confirmed top four. A draw here would confirm the top four. Can we do it? We do more than that. We get the win. Which means we end the season in fourth place. We are so lucky. We have only just about kept our job. But that is it. We have kept our job and we will be going for another season however the season does not end there we play everton in the fa cup final let's hope to add one more piece of silverware to that cabinet before this season ends andre gomez who plays it wide now for harrison now into the middle for ducore he plays it wide again harrison out wide in the box now though now it's andre gomez on the edge of the box ducore and ramsdale with a brilliant save eight nori gives it to suzoko now it's suzoko still gives it to decore now harrison and it's just wide of the post we're very lucky to still be level erdegaard boots it and now it's with sancho again Jaden sancho still with the ball takes it past still sancho running with it Play it forward for Weihi. That's a great ball. Weihi with it. Have a shot. And that is a great goal. The deadlock is finally broken just before half time in what has been a very cagey game. No team have really deserved to go ahead, but I'm happy it was us. Plays it forward for Patterson. Still on the wing. Plays it inside. Now it's Ducore. Plays it in the middle for Andre Gomez. And that's a bad goal. I'm not even joking. I didn't even see Andre Gomez was there. I couldn't even tell that there was an Everton player in the box. That's how bad this is. Ducore on the attack now. Beto takes it past our man. And now that is such a poor goal. We now go down in the final due to, to some stupid defending. I am furious. Onana, great tackle. Way he. Can we get a goal back here? Musiala. Equalise things. Jamal Musiala does it. It wasn't long after they scored their second that we scored ours. This game is proving to be a lot more difficult than it should be. I mean, there's obviously a reason Everton got this far in the competition. Ducore still going. McNeil has a shot and it will go to extra time. Ducore, good ball over the top. Gabriel interception. Sancho now down to Weihi. Still going with it play Musiala, who's through on goal, have one from there, and it's over the bar. Ghana in the middle, still running with it, but White takes it off him. Quite high up the pitch now, Weihi is through on goal. Could he win it for us here? Weihi. And for some reason, I've just taken Saka off the pitch. Let's hope it doesn't go to penalties now. Gabriel in the middle doesn't meet it. Now Hernandez, back to Martinelli. Have one from there, Martinelli, it's wide of the post. Not a great effort in the end. Tries the fake shot, takes it a bit too far though. Way he now, little fake shot there, over the top. But Partey, and it's a, um, don't put that in there. I meant to miss that. Balls. I meant, I meant, I meant to miss that. Oh, well, crap. We, we, we're ahead. Way. How on earth could that have came to be? In a less than gratifying manner, we have won the FA Cup. And here are your 2023, 24 FA Cup winners. Martin Odegaard lifts the trophy as Arsenal get their second piece of silverware for the season. A semi-successful season comes to an end, so you need to get your suggestions in the comments. And if you want to watch a Liverpool crimp, that should be on the screen now along with this series' playlist.